Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another video today to look at a specific new feature in Footbin that you can use to help make coins trading through flipping with a lot of different cards on this game. That is called the Footbin Tracker. Now, this is a new feature that I think Footbin released a couple weeks ago. Uh, and I just want to basically talk about today what this does for trading, especially with icons and special cards, because this is massive for trend trading and for, um, you know, I guess you could call it flipping cards on a daily basis, just with their normal fluctuations up and down in price. And it works the best for those informs and for those icons, because just knowing the sale prices on cards on a daily basis is so, so key. So that's what this is really, really good at showing us. So I'm going to take you through this pretty fast today, kind of show you all the features and get get you familiarized with it because some of you guys don't even know this exists and this is a really really cool tool that i think footbin has here that we can use so just to kind of go over the basic ui of this or where to even find this you go to footbin.com you click on the tracker this is where you access this page and you actually have to have a footbin account to sign in because it tracks um your basically your account you can have a portfolio which is this stuff right here where you can add cards and kind of keep track of your investments and honestly view your your unrealized um when realized profit and then your history and how much you've bought and sold and then live updates on how much you're even making on the cards in that time so let's just start off with a nice little overview of this page again i'm on the portfolio view right now there's three different views over here with favorites and top movers. The portfolio is where you're gonna spend most of your time because you're gonna be adding your cards as a new trade. Right now I've got three, I've got four cards set up right here. You can add a new trade at any time by going down here. Search for the player name, like let's search for um, like the Allen St. Maximin inform, right? I'm gonna search for Allen St. Maximin, that's the card. Just like a normal footprint search, I'm gonna put one in as the quantity because that's how many I'm buying i'm going to say i bought it for 280,000 coins and i'm going to add the auction right now that will add an auction down here it'll update your profit and loss which basically unrealized profit means you know at the moment i'm losing 8k on this price that i have typed in here for fernando hierro because his 358,000 coins was my buy price his lowest bin is 368 so i haven't actually sold the card yet so it's unrealized right that's what this number means and then realized uh, this must be from something that I sold earlier that I was calculating. This will, if, if you go over here and do a control and you sell the card, like let's say I sell this, I sold one of them, or let's say I sold it for 390,000 coins, right? Send sale data. And that's going to update this realized and unrealized profit and then update your trade history. And it's going to get rid of that item in your portfolio because you sold it, right? So that's kind of how that works. So yeah, that's how you do it. You add a new trade here. You can sell cards over here. You can edit the prices. You can edit the quantity. And then uh, you can actually access the player page as well. Like if I click on this player page over here, I can actually go and view the Makalele individual page with the stats and where the normal graphs are. But that's one thing I want to talk about with this page as well is the graphs because the graphs are so much more detailed on this view. But basically what this portfolio does is it keeps all of your stuff, keeps all your ducks in a line, keeps all your ducks in a row. You can keep track of all your investments. This is perfect. Even if you're making like a Thursday flipping investments, like we just posted a video on earlier today, this would be a great place where you could house all of your Thursday flips. It takes a little bit of time. Yeah. To, you know, um, type in the prices and, and set this all up, but this would be a great way to figure out on a given day, how many coins that you're making just by trading and flipping cards using this footman tracker. So again, this is the portfolio view. So like I added Bruno Fernandez right here, and let's say I want to look at the, the the left side is the graphs and the tracked market auctions for each individual player. So you click on a certain player and you'll know who you're looking at based off of the dynamic image here, kind of silhouetted in the background and the information on player info over here on the left side. So I'm going to click on this Bruno Fernandez, right? And I'm going to show you guys why this tool can be so useful for trading. This is the biggest thing right here, the tracked market auctions you can tell now this is not 100 percent accurate all right and this is the thing that i have to kind of put like an asterisk on it right Footbin is not updating at all times with every single auction that gets put up on the game but this is still very incredibly useful information you can see here bruno fernandez listing just what is this uh i'm recording at 10 27 p.m i'm actually going to refresh my page right now and uh see what this looks like now 
I'm going to go to Bruno again. Okay, so boom, 9.47 p.m. was the last recorded sale on Bruno Fernandez. So this card sold. That's what the green check mark means. It sold for 315,000 coins. There's the tax and the price. And that's what it was listed for. So it meant it went for a bin, right? That's what this little, uh, was it a good deal for the buyer? Over here, it means it was a bin. This is like the arrow. And then there's the bid, uh, which I don't know what that is, like a like sign or something, but that's how you know if it's a bid or a bin. And the red means that the item did sell and the, the green check mark, no, red means that the item did not sell. Green means the item did sell. So again, you have all your, your sales over here. Now, this is a very interesting thing to watch, right? So let's look at this graph and look at the time frame and tell, again, another reason why this list and why this view is so awesome. So we're used to looking at graphs like this, right? Now, let's just get the PS graph in here just to make things simpler. So we can see that, you know, he went down and he kind of went up later in the part of the day. During the middle of the day is when Bruno was his lowest. He reached 289 and 293 then reached 323 after that. But if we go back here and look at the tracker, puts all that information and it makes it look so much more, um, I guess, easier to read and it looks more drastic and it just enables you to see the type of fluctuation that you have on any 72 hour basis as it is right here. Uh, you can go on the hourly graph, you can, you can look at a daily graph for Bruno, but the hourly graphs are so much more in depth and impressive that I think than looking at our normal graphs, just because you can see the lower points a lot better. And it gives you a low and a high. It shows you, hey, he was 340,000 coins here at one point, and he was down here at 289 at one point as well. This is where you really are going to see that the benefits of learning how to flip cards with this graph right here and with this info, because it shows you. So obviously, it's showing you the average price on the hour or where the lowest bin was. Bruno was 293 earlier today, right? And it went up and sold at 323 at 6 p.m. So let's take a look at these time frames up here right now. So of course, it's telling me right now that Bruno is 305,000 coins at the moment, according over here on, on Footbin, right? That's his lowest buy it now price. We look and see there was a lot of listings that sold earlier today. There was a 296 that went on bid about two hours ago. But let's see, we, we saw him low down here at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., right? So let's scroll back on October 20th to like 10 a.m. and see where these listings were, right? Is that what this was? October 20th, uh, early in the morning. Okay, so there's a couple, of, there's a 299 right there. So it looks actually looks like the footbin tracker didn't catch the 293. But look, there's a lot right around 300,000 coins, right? There's There it is, 290 on a bid and a 291 and a 293 right there on a bid. And now what you see is as this price does go up into like 6, 7 p.m. as we watch this tracker, um, there's another 290 right there. Somebody got a good deal. You're going to see this price start to rise, right? 314, 328. We got a sale 324, 318. As we get into 6 PM, 333, 329, 325, 330, right? He kind of reached his peak right around that 6 to 7 PM time frame. Now he's back down, but this is like really, really perfect for trend trading because you actually get to see where this card sold at. And that is very, very valuable information when you're talking about a card that's going to fluctuate up and down all the time. And especially for icons too, this is super duper duper helpful, right? I'm showing you an inform, but it's the same thing with the icons. You can tell that Ashley Cole's price has been trending downwards basically all day, right? Get 330, 344, peaked at 363. But what are some sales we've had here, right? 346, he sold that just a couple hours ago. And he also just recently sold that 366, right? 50, 60. So I would look at this. Wow. 375. So most of the sales that I'm seeing in here, looks like the lowest are in the low three forties, a couple of those on bid. And most of them are in the higher tier range or in the three sixties, maybe one or two at three seventy. So this is going to give you like a range of when you look at a card on any given day. Now let's just say that the card, like, of course, a lot of prices were dropping yesterday, right? So a lot of these graphs look like they're really high and then they're dropping down. But if let's say this, this, is pretty, you know, it's pretty steady over the past, what is this, past daytime on this Makalele graph. Knowing, did I click on Makalele? Yeah, I did. Uh, just noticing the, the fluctuations, right? 335 as a buy it now price. And then literally just an hour ago, he threw, sold at 365 and 360. And right now his lowest bid is 349. So I would know that if, hey, if I see an open bid, wow, 316 on bid, that's crazy. 
But I know that, hey, this guy is getting really low. 324 is what Footbin shows as his lowest, but he actually even got lower than that. And there were a couple listings that went lower than that, and they were able to be 321 right there. It's another big one. But you can tell this guy sells between like 340, 350, couple in the 360s, right? So you kind of know, and this is very valuable for how much you can list that icon for and expect a sale, right? Some of these icons though, like this sold at 365, but an hour later, this is not selling at 360, right? So instead of trying to, if I was listing this card at 360 for Makalele, I would just relist it because I know that in the past two hours, a Makalele has sold at 360 and 365. So that's kind of like very useful information when you're trying to figure out what can I list this card for? You could have bought this one at 333 and listed at 360 right now. Let's actually go to the market really fast and look at this Makalele card. Baby Makalele, what is his lowest price on the market at the moment? 349, right? And that is what Footbin says at the moment. So you can say here, okay, maybe this guy that's relisting at 360 or 366, 350 maybe, um, he's not gonna get a sale right now. But of course, you're not looking for that immediate sale when you're flipping an icon, you know, that it might take a couple hours to sell. And that's why using this footbin tracker with all of this information on the listed for and the sale prices is very, very good. Now, a lot of these live sales as well are, are pretty good to um, to see. Um, now, I think that these are, these are just like an average graph of the actual sales that are actually posted up here. Instead of just the, the bin mark, it's just actually listing all the sales together and showing you over okay this is a a live graph of all the sales since the start of the game october 11th and stuff so you can kind of see his price range over time then you can go daily as well so that's kind of another useful portion of the graph on this page now let's say you trade with a lot of icons and a lot of players that are you know at the same time you can add those players over here you can search at favorites like i'm going to add this makalele to my favorites list like right now uh and boom he's right in there so you can constantly follow these cards prices and i think even in here you can make comments. Um, you can, you know, you can do a lot of customizability inside this in, in this favorites tab. And then top movers is very interesting as well. A four hour or 24 hour comparison. This was only available on the actual iPhone app before, but now it's available on a uh, footbin desktop as well. Um, this is a place where you can actually see the four hours cards that have gone up the most and have gone down the most in terms of percentage point value um on the game in those two time periods so it's very interesting to see some of these cards um and right now what i'm checking since i was reminded is i don't actually see the foot bin tracker on the mobile app i don't think the mobile app uh, of foot bin actually has the foot bin tracker yet of course if you guys use foot bin there's a mobile app but i think this is only on the desktop at the moment so again this is going to be so helpful or trading with icons, right? Let's let's just say I bought a Makalele today. Uh, let's say I bought him, baby Makalele. Let's say I bought him at 339, right? Let's say I was one of those guys that bought him at 339. Whoops, that's quantity. So one, 339, one, two, three, add auction. Now that auction is stored here, right? And now I can see, okay, we refresh this tracker just to see if we have any new listings and sales uh, up in the top left. We not for Makalele, let's check. No, we don't. So. Uh, I'm just going to keep track of that sale price right there, right? And I'm going to be able to see where these listings are. And again, this is just so huge for icons and for out-of-pack special cards for daily trend trading and just knowing where the card has been selling at in the past few hours. It's really going to help you figure out if you can flip an icon. Now, of course, it's not something that you can use and like say, okay, well, I'm at the icon 59th minute and I see a low price on this card right now. I'm going to compare the price and look, okay, it looks like a decent deal. You know, and then I'm going to go to the footprint tracker and check the, the auctions, right? That's not going to work well for sniping icons on the 59th. This is great for research. The footprint tracker is phenomenal for research, but you actually have to put that research in here and then use that on the 59th minute if you are sniping icons or if you're bidding on icons or whatever. So again, this is the footprint tracker and I just wanted to make a video today going in depth with it and talking about how to use this to make coins and also just to get you familiar with it and to just tell you that it's there because a lot of people don't even know that it's there. It is very, very useful. I plan on using it for like the rest of the year uh, and it's it's gonna help you make coins because you're gonna be able to see where those cards were selling. It's gonna be especially useful on promo Fridays and when looking at specific cards, I'll be using this throughout the year in videos 
to show you guys, hey, this card sold here at this time and, you know, to kind of track things like that. So if this was helpful at all, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.